Hey guys, welcome. Managed to get there in the end. We've had a few uh, technical childcare issues. Wife went for a run, but now we're back. Uh, I'm in a field in a place called Sarsbury Green, right down on the south coast of the UK. And I'm just gonna excuse the traffic going past. I'm just gonna get her up and away we go and see what we can see. The I know the sunset's looking good. Take off. So we'll take her up to a maximum and give you a quick rotate round. As you can see, there's a beautiful church not far from where I am. So we're at about 100 feet now. Two hundred. What I do is just stop it there for a second. Let's stop it around two hundred. Oops, sorry. Press the wrong button. And then just I'm going to bring it down a bit. The sun is setting uh, behind me, so I'm just going to rotate really slowly, so you can see. As you can see, it's quite flat around here. And just rotating around. We're now looking almost directly south now. The Isle of Wight would be straight in the far distance. And obviously left and down a bit you would have France. There's the edge of the Isle of Wight there. And it's got a bit cloudy. I'm not quite sure what the sun's going to look like when we do a full rotation. It still looks like it's up there a bit. Just trying to keep an eye on my drone. It's directly above me. And then we'll do a full... 360 and then we'll take her for a little flight round. There we go. When I get round towards the sun shortly. Again, the area that I live is around. Uh, I'm lucky to live where I do. Um, and we're looking straight out over Hamble River now. There you go, you can see the sun is there onto the marina. And what I'll do is I'll tip, uh, tilt the camera back up so we get sort of a sense of... The colour's quite nice in the sun, but I'm not quite sure how it's going to do this. And then um, I will change the exposure just slightly, probably down a bit, a couple of pegs. You can see it's looking beautiful. You can see the reflection into the into the river and now I'll just take her up to her full maximum. So 250, 300. And that's around 350. I'm just going to leave it there. And it's looking beautiful. Thank you for joining me. I obviously can't see how many subscribers are actually watching, so apologies for that. It's not something that happens on Facebook when I do a live stream from the DJI Phantom 4. But hopefully, um, I will be start streaming live to Facebook real soon, um, and on that I'll be able to see your comments and everything as well. So let's just keep rotating around. I've done my pre-checks. I'm starting to get into a bit of a routine now. Um, I've only had the DJI a week but starting to get into a nice routine of making sure that I check everything before so reset the compass check all the blades make sure the batteries are charged give it every opportunity to have a good performance rather than just grabbing it out of the box and just sling it in the air I don't think that's best it is a very superbly balanced tool and it should be treated with a lot of respect now we're sort of looking looking north to the UK northwards and London would be around 70 to 80 miles straight line from here all the way up in the middle of that screen I'll just keep, oh, I've got a bit fast in. Apologies for that. I'll just keep rotating around. There you go. 
okay. This is the main A27 road. Just bring the camera down a bit. We don't need to see the sky when we're here. Okay. Let me just go up towards the church so you can get a better view of that. Sorry, I keep pressing that button with my finger and it's very annoying. I'm going to have to change that somehow. So let's just keep heading in that direction. What we'll do is we'll go, that's the church there, as you can see, right in the middle of the screen. It did look beautiful just now. The sun was just coming through the trees and shining on the um, onto the clock. And there you go, we're above it now. Just slightly rotate this round so. I have been changing the stick lengths on the controller just so I got a bit more control over it so it's a little bit smoother rather than all the jerky movements I don't when I watch drone footage I don't like the jerky movements on some where people just spinning it round um, and when you're doing it live you get less chance to edit the footage obviously so trying to do two things at once here <laughs> There's a major, major A27 that runs right along the south coast. It's a major road for us, maybe not for you guys in the US that may be watching. Um, I had a couple of comments as well about how dense the housing is. Um, but like I said to that person, we live in the UK and we live on a very small island compared to the US. And, you know, we're pretty well on top of each other a lot of the time. So I'm just going to bring this down a bit more. I'm just going to bring it down to around 300 feet. And it looks nice and clear on here. I've got 18 satellites, so we're all good. And we'll just move on a bit from the church and just down here to the right hand side um, what we do find a lot in the UK is pubs being converted to flats and houses and that particular house there on the right hand side just coming into shot now used to be a pub but as you can see it is actually now um, flats and houses you can see all the cars parked in the car park at the rear. You can see the cricket pitch on the left hand side as well. It's popular in the UK in the summertime. And I'll move forward a little bit further and over to the right we have the convenience store, the local fish and chip shop and some industrial units around the back. So as I come down the road I'm just going to raise this camera up again because we're heading down towards the port or the marina. Just doing it nice and slowly. Let me get the combination, some nice tennis courts there on the left hand side. Still got it in sight. I might have to move slightly because the trees are going to stop me from seeing it shortly and I don't want that to happen. I don't want to go too far. Now, I've not been brave enough to fly my DJI over the water yet. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that one day. But right now, I just need to grow my confidence in actually feeling confident enough to fly it over the sea. I think fresh water would be a lot easier. I've got a bit of a plan to do that at some point. But I think I might just give that a miss for the time being. Well, that was close. 
a duck just flew right past. <laughs> Didn't quite catch it on the camera. So that the Hamble River here runs down out of Warsash and then out into the Solent uh, and then off to the rest of the world where all the ferries go. So all the cruise ships again would come from right to left and I will film them at some point as well. But as you can see there's a lot of countryside around here which is excellent. There's so much to do for everybody around here. And what I quite like doing is coming down low and then going along the ground, not at supersonic speed because I've not even taken the sticker off. It says how to change the modality of the machine or the controller. So I'm just going to rotate it around and I'm going to bring her down. And then I'm going to aim towards the church with a bit of obviously throttle, throttle to go forward and then lift her up over the church. I'll just bring her down. You can see the traffic's quite busy. It is it's the time now. It's quarter to nine in the evening, but this road is always busy. And we're coming down into the field that I'm actually stood in. And we're at 57% or 56% battery now and 18 satellites. So, hi guys, you can see me now. Hope you're having a great evening. So I'll just take up a bit because there are some rope and everything in front of me. And we'll go, I'm just going to get that right a little bit over the cricket pitches and then up. Trying to watch everything, eyes on the screen, eyes on the drone and straight over the top of the church. Fantastic. Just going to ease back off on the forward motion and still climb a little bit. Excellent. I did enjoy that part of flying the drone. It's quite nice to see. I'm hoping to go and do some uh, filming in some fields where they've got some rapeseed oil, which is in the UK is all yellow. So hopefully it would look nice in yellow. And again, apologies for the noisy traffic. But what I try and do a lot of the time is I actually stand with my back to the sun. So I know that if I point my drone to the sun, I know it's pointing towards me to come back. I don't know if other people do that, but that's what I found is best. So now I know at least I know the sun is above my head. So I know if I go forward now, it will come right back towards me and over the top. It's travelling quite nicely. It's going to just correct it slightly. But it flies over me. And it's even beautiful just to watch it come past. <laughs> uh, we're at 227 feet. I will run it out over the edge now and raise her up to the maximum so we get the last bit of the sun. I'm always a bit nervous to go too far. <laughs> I know at the moment it's on land so I'd probably be able to find it. I'm just going to ease her there. You can see it. I don't want it to go out of my sight. And there are some tall trees there and I don't want to lose that so I'm just going to go up. Let's take it up to the maximum again. So that's 
350. I'm just going to drop it short. Maximum flight altitude reached. Not quite. About 390 now we're set at. Just going to take a couple of pictures. I think that's it's useful to do it on YouTube live and then take a few photos as well. Or if I want the video, I can always download it from YouTube. Obviously, it won't be the best quality, but at least I still have a copy of it. There you go, some pictures. Been in the air for 15 minutes now. Battery is at 41%. 18 satellites, everything is in performing brilliantly. And there's so much flying up that river I would really like to do. <laughs> I will do it. I'm going to a place uh, in Norwich uh, next month uh, at the Norfolk Broads. There's plenty of water around there. So that will be something that we'll be testing to say the least. The parents are telling me about using a tether, but I don't think that's a great idea. <laughs> Just to tether your drone. Okay, so I'm going to start to head back towards myself now. Battery's at 37%. And obviously I need enough to get me back. Around 30% it starts bleeping and making a horrible noise and it becomes quite annoying if you're watching videos. So we're going to start to head back and bring her down at the same time. Maximum flight altitude reached. Yeah, I'm actually coming down. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to bring her over to the top. I'm just going to hold her there. Sorry if my voice goes. I'm just going to pop this on and uh, pop the camera down so it can drop. And you can actually see me, that little tiny white dot there. right in the middle of the screen and let's bring her right down onto me so we're at 3.30, 3.20 we're coming down I'll try not to spin it down to 32% It's almost perfectly on me. Let's bring her down a little bit more. And there I am. As the battery kicks in, it's the right height. So thanks for watching guys. I hope that you've enjoyed the live stream. If you did, give me the thumbs up um, and subscribe if you like, if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next live stream. Thanks for being there. I appreciate every one of you. Landing.